In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take our third look at this complicated tool called the Theme Designer. A reminder that if you have not ever tried to use the Magic Movie Wizard, we recommend that you look at that tutorial to understand how we got to where we were. Because you have to get into the Movie Wizard, into the fourth step, which is the preview step, in order to launch the Theme Designer. And again, it really doesn't allow you to design a theme from scratch. It allows you to change some features of your built-in themes. We've spoken about how each number in each of these blue boxes is associated with either a still image or a video. And you drag and drop. Or if you uh, don't want to do that, you can right-click and you can remove the clip. And you can put something else in its place if you want to. And we showed you how it's possible uh, to change the length of a video, to turn the sound on or off, and to zoom in and out. But the theme controls which, if any, of these features is available. For example, in these two images here, there are no options for any of those changes. And how you can take the sequence of items. If I click on this one, these are the pictures associated only with this blue box. And this one, the picture only associated with that blue box. And if I want to change it, I can drag and drop. It will replace it. And uh, then I can, I can play it by going through with a scrubber. Or I can play it using the preview play mode here. So that's some of the th things that I can do in each of these sequences. Now let me show you something else. You can also take other, um, let me just call them blue boxes for now. They're really components of a theme from other themes that are loaded onto your system. I'll, I'll click on this and we'll take this an, another sequence. And I'll click the, the arrow here. Here are all the ones that I have available to me right now. So I'm going to take... Um, Let's do a ink splatter. I'll right click on that. And then here are my individual uh, components of that sequences. I believe they're called technically. And, I'll and then what I just did is I added two from a completely different theme. I'll click on the, this one here. And this said continue from last clip. So this came in from this guy here. If I go to the bottom, it's the same video. But if I click back here, the second one is empty because it didn't know where to take it from. And I can drag and drop here. Now I can go on this one here. And this said continue from the previous clip. So I go back to this one. And my last one is the flag. And uh, if I uncheck that, it will empty that box. And I'll have to populate both of these with either a picture or a video. So I can go back here. I can go to a completely different theme. Um, let's go to travel here. And I can click on this item here. Click on OK. And pull this in. Again, I can reorder the sequences if I want to. Put this one here. And this one ha uh, demands four images or videos. So I can take four of them here. And I don't want that twice here. We'll do the Mercedes and we'll do and then we'll do the ducks. And there I can go ahead and I can change it. And that is added to my sequence. So this is a sense in which you can actually do any theme design. And this one here allows for a title. I can change this to uh, Mixed Up Movie, which is what I think I have at this point in time. And uh, so we can go ahead. We can preview it again. We can use the scrubber and see what this theme is doing here. Here's my Mixed Up Movie. And then it just continues. Now again, that only controls, that only shows me what's in this particular sequence. So basically, it's a way to make what I would call a patchwork quilt of uh, components 
that you want into your movie. And you can use as many different parts of as many different themes as you want. You have some control over some of the components of some of the sequences, but it's not really like building a movie on your own with a lot of consistency, a lot of thought, a lot of theme uh, unity. But it's something you can do. And when you're done with the whole process and you've uh, replaced numbers with pictures, you've modified what you can, you've added stuff from other themes if you want, you click OK. And then what you do is you simply click Next. And uh, you can produce a video, create a disk, or go into editing. I'll click on Editing. It will throw all of this that I have put together on one timeline. And here I have my uh, conglomerate movie with uh, different items from different uh, parts, different themes uh, built together. Or you can just take one of your themes and uh, change the order and change the pictures. That's probably what I would find myself doing most often. I would stick with a single theme and I would say, OK, I want to change the sequence of the pictures. I want to tweak the length of some of them if I can or the sound if I want to. Um, I could even repeat uh, one particular uh, sequence several times in the theme. Um, but uh, this would give me the limits of what I could do to make it look uh, like it holds together. But experiment as you want to. That's the introduction to the theme designer. Um, and I hope you find it useful in some kind of situations when you want to be creative with CyberLink PowerDirector.